you are instantly intrigued by the combination of size and shooting. The fact he's over seven foot, the fact he shot in excess of 43% from three-point range in college last season. That in itself is intriguing because, one, the Warriors do not have a seven-footer on their roster, and two, they don't have a big man that can shoot on their roster. So instantly it's like, okay, we got to see what this guy's about, what this guy can do. And the first thing I think you want to see is, okay, we see the percentages in college. We understand that. But does that translate to an NBA setting? And this is not obviously a proper NBA setting. This is a summer league. But still you see players who shoot the ball really well in college and that just doesn't necessarily translate to the pros. Well, you could see from this performance today that Quinton Post, his shooting certainly did translate. Two or four from three-point range, looked really comfortable with his shot, nailed his first one, which was a, kind of a pick and pop where, well, it wasn't really a pick and pop. He set a screen and then Spencer, uh, Pat Spencer kind of attacked, got into the paint and then kicked it back out, top of the key three, drilled it, looked very comfortable, made another pick and pop three a little bit after that in the uh, late in the third quarter where that was a, a genuine pick and pop in that scenario where Ethan Thompson found him for another three. So I, I thought that, first of all, like that looks like it can translate. Good looking shot, uh, looked comfortable, looked aggressive in wanting to take them. Like I think the one he missed in, in the first half was like a trail three off a make where, you know, the Warriors were just bringing the ball down the floor and he kind of trailed the play, asked, the, demanded the ball and then got it and put it up straight away, which at some times, like you say, that's an ill-advised shot. But if he's going to make them at a high rate, like he made 50% today, then you're okay with that kind of thing. And it does give the Warriors something that they don't necessarily have. So the shooting looks like it's there. And again, that aspect, when you combine it with the seven-foot size, automatically makes you think, okay, Okay, what like what can the Warriors potentially have on their hands here? His first bucket, his first shot in a Warrior uniform came from running the floor in transition, sealing his man, um, a, a smaller player in the in the paint, finishing over him. So that was that was nice to see him running the floor because I, I suppose that is the big question mark is obviously athletically speed and agility, and so for again for him to run the floor to show the the ability to obviously seal his man down low and then finish. We want to see a guy here, hopefully, who not only has the ability to extend to three-point range, but he's much more than just a three-point specialist at, 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 as a seven-footer. You want him to be able to do those seven-foot things where he does use his size in the paint, whether it's on post up against smaller players, whatever it may be. So that was nice to see. Looked generally pretty comfortable with the ball in his hands, like, didn't handle the ball a whole lot, obviously, but there was one time where he kind of, I think he got a rebound or a steal or whatever, and then he had to bring the ball across half court. Looked comfortable enough. There was a play in the fourth quarter where Pat Spencer kind of cut off ball and Post looked to find him and he turned the ball over. However, I think the fact he made that read and even tried that pass was actually a positive. Yes, he did turn the ball over, but again, making that read, trying to make that play, um, which is obviously going to be big. Like, you know, you've got to be able to um, make those kind of passes in the Warrior system in the, in the read and react Steve Kerr style. And so he does, you know, showcase a bit of the ability of again going back to college. And we'll see more of this and, and how it plays out with the Warriors. But, you know, you go back to college, he averaged nearly three assists per game last season. He does show the ability to be able to pass. And that's obviously, as I said, going to be a huge thing for the Warriors.